Adventures of Don Quixote, Chapter 7 Don Quixote Learns He Is Already Famous One month had gone by since Don Quixote had come back home, and his friends still had not seen him. The priest and the barber were everyday callers, but they were afraid he might remember past events if he saw either one of them. Sancho, of course, wasn't allowed in the house and how desperately he wanted to see his master. One day he almost made it inside, but the niece and the housekeeper caught him trying to sneak in. "'What are you doing in this house, you beast?' yelled the housekeeper. "'Haven't you done enough damage yet? You're responsible for taking master away and doing all those crazy things!' "'Evil fork-and-tongued housekeeper!' The one who's been talked into going is me, he said. Your master told me a lot of things that weren't true. He even promised to give me an island to govern, and I'm still waiting for it. No matter, go away. Go take care of your household and your field, the niece commanded. Such loud conversation was not missed by Don Quixote. He called Sancho in. I am sorry, Sancho, that you feel I have misled you, his master told him. We left together, we traveled together, we suffered together. I did not deceive you intentionally. You must agree that fortune was not with us. Now tell me, what have you heard about me? Tell me everything without adding or subtracting a word. Fine, your grace, Sancho said, but promise me you won't get angry at me. I won't, I promise, said the gentleman. Then Sancho told him, Well, there are many opinions about you in this town. Some say he's crazy but funny. Others, he's brave but unfortunate. Others, he's polite but meddlesome. And there's more. You remember the son of Bartholomew Carrasco, Samson, don't you? He came back from Salamanca yesterday. He just graduated from the university. I went to say hello to him, and he told me there's already a book about you, and I'm mentioned in it, and Lady Dulcinea is mentioned, and a whole lot of what's happened to us. Don Quixote wanted to meet Samson. Sancho went for the Carrasco home. Samson was about 24 years old. He was a small man and not particularly good-looking. His mind was very quick, though, and he had a tremendous sense of humor. When he saw Don Quixote, he knelt on one knee, took Don Quixote's hand, and kissed it while he said, It is with the most humble heart that I salute you, noble knight, one of the most famous in the world. I cannot become tired of reading the story of your adventures. I would be happy to be your servant." Don Quixote asked him to rise and take a seat next to him. They discussed at length the book Samson liked to read. Don Quixote was very pleased with what he heard. Sancho was beside himself with joy. The young university graduate and the old gentleman became friends. Samson now joined the priest and the barber on their regular visits to Don Quixote.